Welcome to Supermani. Uh, some of the characteristics that I have seen uh, or observed over last uh, 40 years of my investment journey. Obviously, I was not, must not have been a great observer in the first few years, so ignore that portion. After that, I met a lot of investors and I talked to them and I asked them. Uh, one question which I always ask is, what is your attitude towards money and what do you think is success? And I've got amazingly good answers for that from people who are educated, from people who are not educated but made a lot of money. I've got very, very different and very, very good answers. So, what are the characteristics that I have seen in uh, uh, good investors? I mean, when I say good investors, I mean extremely long periods of time, right? So, first and the foremost, which I would think, which I don't know whether any other writer has ever said is grit, uh, G-R-I-T. In fact, if it is one thing which you can teach your children for them to be successful is grit. Staying through the market, staying through life during bad times is not a small thing, right? So I can say it's been a major achievement for me that I've been an investor from 1979, so 21 plus 24, 45 years. Obviously, the worst period would have been, uh, I think, uh, 1992 to 2001, 2002. Of course, I could have, uh, I still was not so badly off compared to the index because I still had some uh, FMCG, Pharma, etc., where I was not too badly off. Similarly, in 2002 to 2007, I was uh, riding some of the uh, funds of. Uh, uh, <clears throat> so some of the funds of uh, uh, Prashant Jain which helped me from 2007 onwards when the markets were not doing too well but your pharma and uh, FMCG help which they which did not do anything from 2000 to 2007. So the grit, the ability to sit tight over long periods of time is something which uh, good investors, great investors have. Uh, second is curiosity. Uh, I used to be very curious about uh, many things, but now I am not at all happy with the amount of curiosity which I have. Maybe because I have more to lose now. So when somebody comes out and says, oh, this uh, uh, Zomato is a good thing, I luckily I put in some money, but I was not very keen that I, I was not very sure that I would make money. Uh, with Paytm, I did not understand the model. I tried reading, understanding, talking, but uh, didn't help. So I did not buy, but I bought it after it crashed and then I have not been doing too badly. Uh, similarly, uh, you have to be curious to know what is happening, right? If you don't know, if you are not curious, for example, it's curiosity which took, uh, uh, which took me to invest in Tata Steel when they bought Chorus and then I realized that uh, maybe they were too much, uh, they have bitten too much then, so I am uh, completely out of Tata Steel, maybe I have left uh, with the last 1000 shares. But yes, Tata Steel is no longer there as a major portion of my portfolio. In fact, I preferred a JSW over this. So some curiosity as to what the management is doing, how they are going to handle it, that is important. And what is the business, right? Both of that uh, is necessary. So grit and then curiosity. Next one is uh, uh, one amazing experience I had was going to the uh, Supreme Court five times for five different people, I mean, uh, as a professional. And I realized that uh, you should not trust uh, people so easily. So being a chartered accountant meant that when you went to audit, whether it was a Larson and Tubro or a Crompton Graves, you started very skeptically saying, is he trying to hide something? Is she trying to hide something from me? Are they uh, overvaluing the inventory? Are they undervaluing the inventory? Have they committed a different number to the board which now they want to meet? Are they playing games with me? This skepticism which comes from doing CA is a fantastic fantastic virtue to carry uh, do all through your uh, investing career. Whenever you look at a promoter, you know he is going to say the nice things. So asking him that five years back you said this, this, this didn't happen. You said you are going to be a big defense contractor, the defense contracts don't seem to have come. As a group, you are not capable of uh, bribing your way through getting defense contracts. How will you handle it? Right? These are all questions skepticism, uh, will you bribe to get my business, will you not bribe to get business, right? These are all questions which you are uh, supposed to ask and ask consistently and don't trust your management for very long periods of time. But after you trust them, don't even bother with quarterly results. Like I don't even look at the quarterly results of a PNG, Gillette or a Colgate, where Gillette has not done as well as a, say a Colgate. 
right so skepticism saying how the company will do what it will do how much to trust it these are questions which are very uh, important for you to answer have independence once you are under a banner you are trapped as to what the banner wants you to think right so if you are uh, trapped under a banner of an investment banker or a merchant banker merchant banker is perhaps even worse uh, then when you get a mandate to do an ipo you have to be optimistic about that company and the ipo though in your hearts you think that that company is not going to make any money so when you have independence and you have one other advantage you don't have conflict of interest for example if i were running a big uh, investment banking merchant banking broking and uh, in uh, managing uh, money for people i would have had conflict of interest when you are doing an investment banking you know what is happening in the deal when you are doing merchant banking you know that you are supposed to make sure that they get enough money and uh, they are able to list within 30 days or 40 days whatever after that your job is over but actually after that your relationship with the shareholders and with the company starts so having that independence is useful and having that independence means you can speak your mind on everything on a case to case basis completely digressing but look at what has happened to kangana ranaut kangana ranaut made some statements uh, about the farmers agitation uh, the bjp came down on her like a ton of bricks she's trying to release a movie Yeah, they have come ring down on her and maybe she she is at least as of now when i'm shooting this on second or third of september we don't have any data about her uh, 6 september release in fact it's not releasing so once you come under an umbrella you are caught so if you are under a big banner you will have to say things which the market wants you to hear uh, wants to hear from you right so you have to be careful about that so having independence is useful i am not under any banner so i can say uh, nice things about a company or bad things about a company right so that is a huge uh, advantage another thing which uh, uh, i think ken fisher says this uh, is the market is a great humiliator right so uh, exactly when you think that you have understood the market the market comes and slaps you so to be uh, to make sure that you don't get insulted by the market you have to be humble when you get good returns you keep analyzing was it luck or was it skill in my case i think a lot of it was luck Uh, being born in uh, bombay being uh, living in ghatkopar right all those things gave you advantages and then slowly uh, building a, a, a rolodex uh, today nobody uses a rolodex uh, using your uh, database knowing whom to call for which share right i i don't remember who said this but having the names of two people whom you can talk to is worth at least two months of research or two weeks of research whatever so uh, building that is very useful and they there there will be somebody who keeps you very humble by saying this is nonsense what you're doing is completely wrong your uh, asset allocation is completely wrong you need to have more in debt to, to have more uh, in real estate gold etc whatever so that kind of a review uh, keeps you humble right so humility while approaching the market is a very important thing the discipline to do whatever you are doing whether it is making videos to be put regularly or uh, anything else in life the discipline is very helpful very useful i have found it useful i found many investors who say every month i will invest 5 lakhs i will invest 10 lakhs i know such people come what may they will uh, make those investments right so having the discipline to read the having the discipline to invest regularly having the discipline not to worry too much about what the market is doing right so accumulating during tough times during bad times etc the discipline and of course the patience and the eq right i think charlie munger says uh, the intelligence is more about the patience right so being patient and sitting through tough times uh is important but at the same time having the courage to admit that you made a mistake right so that courage is huge absolutely necessary so uh, somewhere midway in life i realized that a guy who is not paying the institutions who is not treating his employees well will not treat his uh, shareholders well or he treat her shareholders well and another thing which i have seen uh, when checking out with companies is uh, the ego of the promoter in not even admitting that the 
mistakes that he makes. It is important learning for you to have the patience, but along with it, the courage to say, oh, I think um, I, I thought that uh, Colgate and Gillette work in similar markets, etc., etc. But anyway, Colgate has worked and Gillette has not. Maybe Gillette will work next year. So depending on your ability to hold over two years, three years, five years, you may have to exit Colgate or exit Gillette depending on your money availability and the courage to accept that look i thought these two companies are similar one worked one didn't work so getting out of shares is also something which requires some courage because without courage you will just uh, stick around and say oh i hope it will recover and and we all know that hope is not really a great uh, strategy or uh, uh, it doesn't work right thank you